Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Let's just check in. Uh, this is B, and we are back with Doki Doki. Uh, I normally would say, yo. Uh, let's fix this real quick. We're a little bit off screen. But there we go. Um, I was like, hey, we gotta continue this because Doki Doki Plus is coming out at the end of this month. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting it, but I definitely know I want to beat this at least. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Mm, a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Oh god. Let's see. I'm bored, just blah 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 blah. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. B, do you like on long tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Like I said, you guys, I, I tried to warn before. This game is getting darker and darker as time goes. If you didn't realize this, uh, Sayori's whole deal. Now we're having Yuri act up, so. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You, you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea, <laughs> I've got to fi fix my glasses. In that case, you'll only be... You'll only be more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try to expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, B. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. B, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because of my... Uh... M my, my your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading po posture. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll go with that. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I'll retrieve the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies aren't even closer to, re to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being held... Uh, 
being less abrasive? Apprehensive, my bad. I misread completely. I said abrasive. Oh, uh, let's see. Are we still- yeah, we're still going good. When she's being less apprehensive almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression I can only assume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already f totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from her book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... B... S sorry I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... B... Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my hand and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. B? My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, B. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, B? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It's even make it even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, that's freaky. Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> um it's time to share poems. Who should I show my poem to first? Uh, let's go to Natsuki. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better, either. Phew. Huh? Phew what? Ah, uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I'll get the feeling you probably, you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone's recognized my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's a... Something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at le least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At, at poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? 
Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm and the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyways, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant joke. A jerk. I said joke. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. Preach it. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things, such as two of the girls in the, such as two of the girls in this very club whom I res respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. Oh, I kind of feel bad. Who should I show my poem next to? We're gonna go with Monica. B? I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you kind of, you're kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. No! But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. My cat just walked across my keyboard and I had to stop her. I hope that's working. Is it still recording? Yeah. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyways, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors... Okay, that was really weird because my game glitched. Like, that was really, really weird. After I said save me, it glitched. Oh, the colors they won't. Bright, beautiful colors, flushing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating. Oh dear. Delete her. Is it supposed to be this messed up? Play like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Endless. Excuse me? 
Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. What just happened? I'm just trying to, um... Oh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica riding trip... Ri wide, widen. Riding tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Uh-huh. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, Yuri. We're gonna go see ya. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? B. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth right uh, worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really want to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, B. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, B? I'm not being weird, right? Uh, I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay. Will. A rotating wheel, turning on an axle, grinding, bottle head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, a parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a paper written in blood, a prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God's disapproving the existence of God. Oh, God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one sec second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that that is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. I, um, where did all the sound go? Oh, it's just quiet. It's just abnormally really quiet. Okay, that's cool. Oh god, my game. I think I broke my game. I hit save and now it's not working. Okay, maybe we're good. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Seems that way. Okay. I um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just say? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Can you hear me? I 
Hello? Uh oh. My gang keeps freaking out. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so it, if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Why am I hearing? Is this about the festival? I... What is going on? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? What is going on? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. What is going on? Why? What just happened? I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. What just happened? Okay, I'm really confused. Because I've played this before. And I don't recall this happening. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Beach joined and we started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyways? We already have enough to be considered our official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more complicated, difficult to manage. Not Suki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share our passion with as many people as we can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. I'm really weirded out what just happened. It should be a place so intimate that you would never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if something it's something small. Right, B? What the f what the hell just happened to me? Uh come on oh come on. You can't take advantage of B to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until B joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And B isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That, that's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and B want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against new members or anything. B, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I could be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. 
And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, B. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the obnoxious brat? Whoa. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she could- Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. We- Oh. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, B? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide to give- Giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something you, that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each m member. That's what will end up making the literature, cl the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities and it's... Uh, her eye is bleeding. Special way. Which, each change in member, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Her eye was bleeding again. It's doing it again. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of the comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M monica I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, B? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with B before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Things are weird. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? B, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Of how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you with about. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No. And unfortunately, we've ran out of time. So we will write our next poem in the next video. Things have definitely got weird. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.